Lesson 1. Objective. Express metric length measurements in terms of a smaller unit. Model and solve addition, subtraction, word problems involving metric length. Go get me. Everyone say the words with me. First word, centimeter, meter, kilometer, length. Convert equivalent mixed units. All right, so first let's look at our metric units of length. So to get an idea of what a centimeter and a meter and a kilometer look like. So a centimeter would be the length of a staple. Meter would be the height of a countertop. A kilometer or kilometer would be the distance from the school to the train station. So the three measurements that we're going to be looking at are centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So we know to start out with that we have 100 centimeters equals one meter. And then we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So these are going to be the three main ones that we are going to focus on for this lesson today. So making t-charts is one way to figure out our conversions. So if we want to convert one kilometer to meters, we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So next, let's look at how many meters do we have in two kilometers. Well, looking up at our chart right here, if we continue this pattern that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, we know that two kilometers is equal to two thousand meters. So next, three kilometers would equal three thousand meters. Next, seven kilometers would equal, go ahead and yell out the answer, seven thousand meters. And finally, we have 70 kilometers would equal how many meters? Yell out the answer. If you said 70,000 meters, you are correct. So now let's add mixed units of length using the algorithm or simplifying strategies. So let's start out with adding 2 kilometers plus 2,500 meters. So guys, this is the most important thing to know. We cannot add different units together. We can, however, convert the kilometers to meters before adding. So here we go. We have 5 kilometers plus 2,500 meters. So we know that 2,500 meters has how many kilometers in it? If you said 2 kilometers, you are correct. So 5 kilometers would remain 5 kilometers, and then 2,500 meters would convert to 2 kilometers and 500 meters. Now remember, we can only add units together that are the same. So we have 5 kilometers plus 2 kilometers, which would give us 7 kilometers. And then we would have 500 meters left over. So 5 kilometers plus 2,500 meters would be equal to 7 kilometers and 500 meters. So another way to look at this would be to convert our 5 kilometers to meters. So we know that there are 1 kilometer per 1,000 meters. So we show it down here. 5 kilometers equals 5,000 meters plus 2,500 meters, which equals 7,500 meters or 7,500 meters. And then we convert this and simplify it to 7 kilometers and 500 meters. Next, let's add 1 kilometer and 734 meters plus 4 kilometers and 396 meters. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video for about three minutes and let you guys solve this on your whiteboards and then we'll go over. 
So one way to do it would be to go ahead and add up your kilometers first, which would give us 4 plus 1, which equals 5 kilometers, and then add our meters together, which would give us 1,130 meters. Next, we convert our meters to kilometers and meters, which would be 1 kilometer and 130 meters left over. And then we add our 5 kilometers plus 1 kilometer to give us 6 kilometers and 130 meters left over. Another way to look at it is to add our numbers horizontally. We still get 5 kilometers like here. And then here, we made it a little bit easier to add by breaking the 734 apart and taking this 4 and adding it to the 396. So we are left with 730 plus 400, which gives us 1,130, which is the same as this over here. Again, we know that we can break apart 1,130 into 1 kilometer and 130 meters. Now we can add our kilometers together to get 6 kilometers, and we're left with 130 meters. Finally, let's go ahead and combine 1 kilometer and 734 meters. Let's convert 1 kilometer into 1,000 plus 734, which gives us 1,734 meters. And then 4,000 meters, we just converted it right there, plus 396 meters would be 4,396. You add up your 1's column and you get 10. So put your 0 and your 1's and carry your 1 to your 10's. 1 plus 9 plus 3 gives us a sum of 13. So we put our 3 in our 10's place and we carry our 1 to our 100's place. Next, let's add up our 100's place. 1 plus 3 plus 7 gives me a sum of 11. So we put our 1 in our 100's place and carry our other 1 to our 1000's place. Finally, 1 plus 4 plus 1 will give me a sum of 6. So we know that all of these measurements will equal 6,130 meters. And then we know that 6,000 meters will convert to 6,000 kilometers and we have 130 meters left over. Thanks for watching today.